we are discussing renum operation in relational algebra the renum operation the respective operator symbol is rho so using rho we shall denote the renum operation so now see uh, what is the syntax to write this renum operator so rho x e that means that e is the relation name and x is the renum so as example i i can write rho l loan that means loan is the actual loan is the actual relation name loan is the actual relation name and it has been renamed as l within the query the scope is within the query don't think that the relation is getting renamed permanently next time when we shall write the query write another query on this particular uh, uh, schema list then obviously i shall be using loan not l so the change whatever is being done the rename operation whatever is being done is having the scope within the query only so that is the way to write rho l loan or rho loan l in this way so now what is the purpose sometimes it may happen that the relation name is a long one say i'm telling in this way accounts of the year 2016-2017 let it be the very long name for one relation name so i can replace it with a single letter a a stands for accounts so i can write in this way rho l rho a accounts of the year 2016-2017 so for a long relation name to get it a short name for the time being scope is confined within the query only we can use the rho that is the rename operator there is another another cause another reason is there for which rename operator can be used let us suppose i want to do cartesian product between the same tables between the same relations say loan cross loan i want to do in this way loan cross loan in the case at least one loan has to be renamed otherwise if i write loan dot lno then that will create one ambiguity so whenever you are doing cartesian product between the same relations then in that case one of the relations must be renamed to some other name to resolve the ambiguity there is another way to write this rename operator that is rho x a1 a2 dot dot, dot a n e so in this case this e has been renamed as x that we know and what about this a1 a2 dot dot, dot a n whatever the attributes e was having those attributes respectively has got renamed to so, so those attributes in the order respectively has got renamed to a1 a2 dot dot, dot a n if the thing is not clear i can show it here so loan is having three attributes you, you know that is a loan number branch name and amount you can easily check loan is having three attributes loan number branch name and amount so that very loan number will be renamed as ln that very branch name will be renamed as bn and that very amount will be renamed as am again the same story this renaming will be confined within the scope of the query only next time when i shall use loan again loan relation again then again i shall be using lno that is a b name that is amt and so on in this way we shall have to write that one so that is my rename operator question is coming in the mind that why should you learn rename operator okay let us go through one example so let us suppose that is a query find out the maximum account balance in the bank find out the maximum account balance in the bank so that is the query you see till now we have learned your set difference set union set intersection we had our cartesian product we have learned obviously selection projection generalized projection what about the videos we have uh, you have seen earlier so we have we have learned all these operators but till now we didn't get any operator which will give me the maximum of the account balance so that particular operation can be done using this particular relational algebraic form so what is that that is pi account dot balance that is sigma account dot balance less than a dot balance where account cross row a account you see here we are doing the cartesian product between the same relation that is account so we cannot write account cross account because in that case attribute renaming will be a problem ambiguity will be there 
so we should rename at least one of the account so here this account has been renamed to a i could have written in this way row a1 account cross row a2 account so both account can also be renamed okay so it will find you the maximum account balance in the bank if you can't get that how this particular relational algebraic expression can give you the maximum account balance in the bank let me go for a tracing that will be a good uh, understanding on, on this particular algebraic expression see so let us suppose we are having this account number branch name and balance you can easily check that account is having three attributes that is account number branch name and balance so account number branch name and balance i have considered three tuples there very simple values a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 and 100 500 and 400 obviously my query is asking me to find out the maximum account balance so i'm expecting that this particular relational algebraic expression when it will get traced i'm going to get 500 let me check it okay now at first from where should i start i should start from here because account cross row a account what will happen so we are having three we are having three uh, attributes are there and three tuples are there so that's why we are having this this so same thing will get cartesian product so how many attributes will be there three plus three so six attributes are there account dot account number account dot branch name account dot balance a dot account number a dot branch name and a dot balance because this is the output of this particular Cartesian product where one account is there and another account has been renamed to a with the rename operator row so now how many tuples are there three tuples are there so after doing the Cartesian product how many tuples will be formed in the resultant table nine tuples will be formed considering all possible combinations like this one a1 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 b1 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 100 100 100 for this particular case i am writing all these combinations here so again a2 this bunch all the combinations a3 this bunch all the combinations so how many tuples are you getting as a result you are getting in total nine combinations you are getting so these are nine combinations are there okay that means you have done three cross three nine different combinations of account cross row a account okay now what is the next what is the ne so we have done up to this what is the next one sigma account dot balance less that less than a dot balance so this is my account dot balance and this is my a dot balance so 100 is less than 100 not true 100 is less than 500 it will be taken 100 is less than 400 it will be taken 500 is less than 100 500 is less than 500 500 is less than 4 400 so all of them are false 400 is less than 100 false 400 is less than 500 will be true so i'm getting this and this 400 is less than 400 it is also false so this particular this particular case i'm getting this particular outputs are there now you are doing pi account dot balance now you are doing pi account dot balance what you are getting so pi account dot balance means this one so what are you getting you are getting 100 100 and 400 so here this particular set is giving me this particular set i'm just writing here this particular set is giving me uh, 400 and 100 you can easily check this one so here if you do the if you do the uh, projection on account on balance so account dot balance means here i'll be getting 100 here i'll be getting 100 and here i'll be getting 400 so 100 100 400 means we have got this particular value now let me do the set difference between pi let me do the set difference be between pi account dot balance and this particular relational algebraic form so what is pi account dot balance so there is my account so if you do the pi account dot balance you are getting all these three values so that means we are getting this one as that is 100 500 and 400 so if you do the set difference in the earlier videos we have discussed what is a set difference so now what will be remaining with will be remaining with this 500 and that is that was our desired result 
because that is the maximum account balance in the bank. So, in this way you see pi account dot balance minus pi account dot balance sigma account dot balance less than a dot balance account cross row a account. So, there is a total expression with the help of which I am going to get this 500 as the maximum account balance. You might be asking me that how this query has generated the maximum account balance. I can tell you this one in this way just see account dot balance less than a dot balance that means this particular this particular uh, um, algebraic form will produce this selected tuples but as you are taking this account dot balance as projection and as this account dot balance is less than a dot balance so this account dot balance will be containing all values but not the maximum account dot balance because it is lesser than some other balance value so this particular set will be containing all the values of the account dot balance but cannot contain 500 which was the maximum. Now when you are subtracting it using set difference from the all from, from the mother set that is 500, 100 and 400 you are remaining with this 500. So in this way this query has generated the maximum account balance in the bank. So here without this row or rename operator this particular relational algebraic form cannot be written because I cannot do the Cartesian product between the same relations without renaming it, renaming at least one of them. Thanks for watching this video.